Hello again, good morning. Um, it's Brian here again from um, excel Um We uh, had a demand on the uh, on the forum from um, from Sandra, who's asking, um, is it possible to set up the the dial widget, this 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 widget here, um, to show a percentage in terms of numbers, so to go from zero to one hundred percent? And um, Sandra, uh, of, of, of course, it's possible. Um, you know, as, as I've said many times, uh, these widgets are made up of um, uh, very simple. If I just un ungroup it here, uh, very simple um, Excel uh, shapes and text boxes and, and things like that. And of, of, of course, you can set them up um, any any way you want. Um, so obviously, the easiest way to show you this is to um, is to actually do it. So uh, let's do it right now. Um, okay, I'm going to start a, a new a new workbook. Um, come to new blank workbook, and I'm going to copy this uh, this dial widget across. So here we go. Control C. I select the edge, the group of objects. Control C. Switch across here. I'm going to stick that in B2, um, and here's our dial. Um, now. As always, the first tab I'm going to call my dashboard. The second, oh, I can't spell this morning. B O A R D. The second one I'm going to call my configuration tab. The next tab, uh, my calculations tab. There we go. Now I need to copy the configuration data. Uh, for this uh, dial widget across. I'm going to copy that across now. This can go into here. Okay, let's go in there. Make that a little bit wider. Um, let's copy the calculations across for this widget. Which is this box here? Okay, and then we're um, we're good to go. We're good to start linking this this new widget that we've copied across to this configuration data on the second tab and to the calculations that um, the power the widget on the on the last tab. Um, but before we do that, let's set this up in terms of percentages. So um, this is uh, Sandra's. Um, I can't spell. Goodness me, Sandra's. Um, what are we going to call this? Um, widget productivity. Productivity. And the units. Um, so this is going to be a percentage. Um, actually, what we'll just we'll just get rid of the the box with the units there. I've just deleted it, selected it, and deleted it. Um, okay, we're going to go from a minimum value of zero percent to a maximum value of a hundred percent. So I'm just going to change, click these, highlight these three boxes here, and click the percent button, which gives me huge percentages. Um, okay, this wants to be 100%. And um, in the example I've been using before, it's just been generating a random number. But I'm but I'm gonna I'm gonna just put this as 50%, just to start things off. Um, okay. Now, obviously, this widget is still all of the values on this widget, all the text boxes that drive this widget are still linked. To the to the original to a completely different file. Um, in fact, they link to the Excel dashboard widgets um, unlocked uh, dashboard um, file. Um, so I need to start uh, linking each of these text boxes up to this new um, file, this new dashboard that we have open now. Um, so let's go to the My Calculations tab. Um, now we look here. Step one. Link the yellow cells to the My Configuration page. So let's do that right now. 
um, I click the first value which is the minimum I type equals um, go to the my configuration tab and click the minimum press return the maximum do exactly the same thing type equals go to my configuration tab hit the maximum value press return go to the actual value um, the yellow one here equals my configura configuration tab and click on the box with the 50 percent press return and you can see those values here in fact I could just change them here to, um, to percentages um, um, okay so it's going from a minimum from 0 to 100 um, and our value is 50 um, the scales the blue cells get automatically set up so I'm going to change those again to percent um, so, so the scale will now go from 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 percent um, so, so that's step one done the, the, the yellow cells are linked so step two here link the dial widget to the blue cells following, following this example okay let's do that now so the example that we need to use to link these together is the example that's actually um, in the unlocked version of the Excel dashboard widgets um, spreadsheet so if you look at this example here um, I'm going to ungroup this okay, I'm going to click on the border left click on the border hit the right mouse button and do go to group and ungroup it which will show us the 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 various objects um, that are used to make this up if I just look at the main value for example here this 6.4 um, it's pulling that value from F13 Should come down here there's F13 which is this value here if I change this value in box F F13 if I put for example 33 um, you'll see this value here changes to 33 um, so uh, if I look at um, these scale values um, and in order to select them, uh, a much easier way to select them rather than selecting them directly on the widget is to use the selection pane. And I've covered that in some other videos as well. You can find the selection pane by uh, clicking the Home tab on the ribbon at the top of the, the Excel page, going right along to this Find and Select um, pair of binoculars, and going to the last object, which is Selection Pane. Now we're working on this widget here, which is the the linear dial. Um, and if I click um, the scale value one, you'll see this small the, the the first scale text box is clicked. Scale value two is the second. Scale value three is the third. And these, you know, very simply, these are these are just text boxes. Um, this this third value here, I can I can actually move and I could put up there um, if I wanted to. For example, um, so if I click, okay, um, this is the fourth value, the 60, you'll see it's pulling, it's taking its value from the widget showcase calculations D15. Go to widget showcase calculations. It's actually pulling its values, D15, from these blue cells here. So basically what we need to do is use the same logic on our new um, dashboard that we're setting up and I'm going to do that right now. So let's go to our new dashboard. Um, let's go to, the, um, to, the, to the, first, the first page and let's start linking together um, all of these different text boxes um, to, to, to the values. So first of all I'm going to click the, the title text box, press equals go to the My Configuration tab and that's now click on Sandra's Widget Productivity um, so that's now linked this this text box here is now automatically linked to whatever we put in our configuration tab I can put here Brian's Brian's Widget Productivity and it automatically updates the dashboard to reflect whatever we have on our configuration um, tab let's put that back this is Sandra's. Um, okay, the main value here, 63.2. I just click that now, 
hit equals, come to the configuration tab, hit the actual value, press return. It now says 50. Now I need to set up all of these different scale values. Let's highlight the first one. Um, it's difficult to pick directly these text text boxes because they're underneath this um, this needle here, which is basically um, it's a graph object within Excel. So the easiest way to pick that out is to come over here to the um, to the selection pane, go to the dial scale, and just click the first value here. Um, as you can see, I go up to the address bar. That's still linked to a completely different file. So if I hit equals here, I can go to the My Calculations tab and start to link these values, that 0%, to this, this, active, um, this active document. 20, what did I do? Let's go back over here. OK, equals, My Calculations tab, that's the next value, 20%. Um, the third value. Let's try that again. Okay. Equals calculations tab. That goes zero twenty forty. Let's do the next one. Okay, I know what I'm doing. And equals sixty. Equals. 80. And this last one I'll do, because uh, I'm doing this a little bit quickly, I'll, I'll go slowly just so you get it exactly what I'm doing. On the selection pane, I'm clicking the last value, the last text box um, for the scale. So dial scale value 6 is highlighted. It's highlighted on the, on the widget over here. It's still linked to the old value, so I just hit equals. You can see equals up in the address bar come down to my calculations tab and here's the maximum value on the dial this value D7 highlight that cell hit enter and now our scale goes from 0 to 100% um, the last thing we need to do is to set this this needle up for the dial because currently it shows what well, that's about 35% and it needs to show 50% and if I click the, the, the needle, it's because it's still linked to the old, you see at the top, it's still linked up to the, the unlocked um, spreadsheet, a completely different file, in fact. Um, so what I need to do is I need to link it to this file. Um, so um, the values, these values that it's linking to, this value here, H9, um, is actually the um, if we come across here to the original um, dashboard uh, showcase you can see exactly what these cells are linking to so H9 on the widget showcase calculations H9 is um, it's actually the, the 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 titles for the X and Y axis um, that actually we don't necessarily need the second bit um, is more important, um, G10 to G14, um, I believe are the X values, and H10 to H14 are the Y values. Let's just take a look. Yeah, G10 to G14 are these cells here, which are the X values, um, and H10 to H14 are the Y values. So basically, um, coming back to our widget here, we need to set this up um, You'll see normally when Excel gives a series declaration for a graph object, there's a number of commas. Um, titles we don't need. I'm going to delete that. Um, the next thing is the X values. So all of this we don't need. I'm going to highlight it, delete it, and then select from the calculations tab the X values. I'm going to come back. Just pass that comma here, and then in this bit here, I'm going to select, delete all this, delete, select the Y values, press return. Um, we have an error in our, hmm, what have I done? Maybe, maybe I deleted a comma, press return again. Oh my goodness, 
tell you what we'll do is we'll do the whole thing all over again. Okay, I'm deleting this bit. You know what? I'm going to leave that, and I'm just going to. I'm just going to. Uh, that seemed to be on the Y in the other one. This one is the X values. I can delete that. The X values. The next one is the Y values. Delete that. I like the Y values. Press return. There we are. We did it. Um, so now um, that's the widget completed. Anything we change now in the configuration tab, let's change this to 25%. We go back, the dashboard now says 25%. Um, everything is linked together. If I change the scale from 0 to 50%, um, the, the needle updates to show 25% and the scale automatically updates. Um, uh, Sandra, I hope this has been useful. Um, if you have any questions about what I've done, um, I do have a tendency to, to go a little bit quickly through these examples. Um, if you need me to redo this little video and do things a little bit um, more slowly, um, just let me know. Um, if you have any other questions, get back to me. Um, have a nice day. This is Brian from Exit Dashboard Widgets saying goodbye.